Man, I told Sneeko this, assume every girl's a whore unless she proves otherwise. Shows you how dangerous bad relationship advice is. Bro, look at me, bro. I'm not gonna find a normal girl like that likes me. You're absolutely wrong. You can, you can get anybody. Stephen Hawkins looked like somebody threw him in a wood chipper. He had a wife and she cheated on, his, on wife. his wife to get another wife, right? I think it's over. <laughs> it's over. This, I, it's not you. It's me. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. And there's a lot of people who are making a lot of money and, and getting massive amounts of hits, and they are giving out bad information, Dante. And that's the thing yeah. that you and I, I fight against all the time. And it's going to create a lot more problems as this young generation gets older. They're getting all this wrong info. And here's an example. Uh, one of your favorites, Fresh and Fit, Dante. I picked this particular clip because I think it shows you how dangerous bad relationship advice is. Because we were telling, we were talking outside about how she was crying, and what did you say? Oh yeah. So what I said was, a woman's tears are only legit when she cries by herself. When she's crying in front of other people, nine out of ten times, it's to garner some type of emotion or get some type of reaction out of you for her favor. Because you got to remember that women are physically inferior to men, so they have to use emotional manipulation to get you to do things. They make you feel bad. She oh my is God. extremely, extremely manipulative. Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. Here's where, so we got to break down what aspects of it are accurate and what's not accurate. Do women use emotional manipulation at times? Yeah. But if a woman is crying so often that you have to go nine times out of ten, she's, she's lying about it. That's, that's, not, that's not accurate. This, that's, this, this, first of all, the assumption that you have to make to just snatch that that unverifiable statistic out of the sky and tout it as truth is ridiculous. It's, uh, it's absurd. Yes. Are there broken manipulative women who use tears as a way to control? Absolutely. Are there women who are hypersensitive that cry often Absolutely. Who who are not manipulative. Some that are manipulative that is not manipulative. And when you, you know, I, look, don't get me wrong. There are generalities that you can make. But the absurdness, the first thing, the first and foremost, if he, if this kid is going, uh, she is very manipulative. The manipul Her manipulation has less to do about tears and more to do with, with, with either her selfishness to control the situation, his weakness to allow it, or the fact that she's broken and she has she's under a, a, a high level of trauma and the fact that you're allowing this to happen. So I, I totally get how when women are using, you know, and, and then he says, so it, it even triggered me when he said that women are physically inferior. Now, women are physically inferior. I guess what he's talking about is the physicality of strength. Yes, that is true. But when you say it in the context of what he's saying, it's almost like he's saying that women have women have a lesser of value, which is interesting because in the next breath, what it, they're talking about is the manipulation of men. Which, if you're manipulating something, if you have the ability to ma manipulate somebody, then you're not inferior, are you? No. If, if, if you can get somebody who's bigger and stronger to do what you want them to do, then, but I, I also understand that might be emotionally, then, then are we saying that men are emotionally inferior but in the, the situation? Yeah, the thing that he's creating, though, is this notion that all women are liars, all women are bitches, they're all whores, except nine out of ten women are bitches and whores and liars, and they can't be trusted. And so, and that, he, that's anecdotal, and that has a lot to do with him, the fact that they lie to him and they don't see him as credible. that they Because a woman will lie to him and not lie to somebody else. Yeah, so his thing is his bad experiences he's throwing on everybody else. Listen, nine times out of ten, a woman's going to leave the hotel room with your wallet and your passport. Like, no, bro, that's a, that's a thing that happened to that's you. That's a you thing. 
nine times out of ten, women are going to yell at you for peeing on the on the toilet seat. Like, what? Bro, that's a specific thing. That's a you thing. I, nine times out of ten, if you come ten minutes late, your girl will punch you in the face. No, that's no, you. That's you. That's a you thing, bro. And the fact that he, he has this authority because guys are too dumb. First of all, that kid is young as shit. Second, you know who he reminds me of, right? That kid? Who is that? Reminds me of Sneeko when I first met Sneeko. And Sneeko was big, had big eyes like a puppy uh, before he sure. leaned into all the toxicity and all the rest of it. it just, well, it, he became just poison too. This. Yeah, he became poison too. But the, but the whole nature of it is, so now anytime a woman is crying, you are to assume that she's lying and being manipulative, right? That's not going to make fuck, for a healthy... Fuck that your grandmother died. Right. Stop trying to manipulate me. Yeah. <laughs> fuck Sorry. that your dad died. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry that you had a hard day at work, but you're lying and you're being manipulative. And this is the 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 problem is now this guy goes into this assuming that he can't he can't trust anybody in any type of relationship. Yeah. So they have to use emotional manipulation to get you to do things. They make you feel bad. She oh my is God. Extremely, extremely manipulative. Yeah, that's what that's the, that's their power, bro, is being able to manipulate you through emotions and them crying and stuff like that. But the reality is that 99% of the times when they're crying in front of people, it's not legit. They get the crocodile tears to make you feel bad. No, no, you gotta understand. She was crying and then she went outside and she was like sobbing, like sobbing, screaming, like, ah! Yeah. Ah. She's like, yeah, bro, it's all for attention. And like I said before, no, I think she's genuine, though. No, absolutely not. You gotta understand, no girl's ever like uh, done what she uh, did for me. She uh, was going uh, on me like, we went to how does he know? How does he know that she's genuine or she's not genuine? Like, how can she that he has no idea what the circumstances are? Um, it, and and if this is the if this is the mentality of somebody who has nothing to offer doesn't think and the only thing you think only you got to understand that this is definitely a reflect a reflection of his lack of self self-esteem with his lamborghini and everything else because man give me a break dog you don't you're this is a you thing this is a you thing do people lie all people lie but to say that every woman that when she cries and 99 percent so so ridiculous it's so ridiculous. I know women that are so um, sensitive. I mean, they'll watch a cartoon and cry. I mean, as if I know guys who will watch a good cartoon, will watch Old Yella and cry. Does this to make these broad based? And don't get me wrong. There are absolutely women who manipulate situations and mostly with tears and so on but you can't just say make a statement that 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 the, the statement assigned uh, you assign that statement alone to everything and everybody and then it's a cure-all do-all ask yourself this if you weren't neon would she still fuck with you i don't know the answer is no a profound no you know for a fact you should have even met her she's the only fans bro and she's an influencer that's all i need to know Damn. I'm not going to argue with that. Now, when he talks about her being an OnlyFans and, and her clout chasing, and this is all part of her clout chasing, now what you're doing is we're putting, now we're going, okay, she cries all the time. She cries in public. She over-exaggerates the, the emotional response to something. She's an OnlyFans person. He, he, clearly, Neon is not a, like, that dude is not a smooth dude. He's he would not. He's definitely somebody that fucks with him is absolutely clout chasing, especially some young girl who's. Uh, but what I'm saying is, when you talk about the manipulation, he's, given, her, he's the, given gener like generality yeah. uh, relationship advice, applying it to everything, yeah. like and not yeah. take it, separating her as an OnlyFans girl or as a, somebody who does whatever, right, who's a right. social media expert. And don't get me wrong, she could be OnlyFans and still be sincere. But it is a thing that you got to go. What about somebody make somebody want to 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 ex, you know show their body for clout and doesn't even and they you know clearly the girl is young because he's a young dude and this is something that when you get as you get older and you're more mature you regret this stuff or you don't regret it because you don't evolve and 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 know that you have minimalized your value to just your body and the expectation of your body. But the fact that he's giving these 
oh, this is so annoying. I, this makes me so angry. The fact that he's he is literally talking about this as if he's some kind of guru. And, and this is the dude that was on the on the sugar daddy sites trying to get you. you know, it's just yeah. yeah. Fast forward. You know, that's what I was gonna say. Is he, he's that's what we found out about the guy allegedly uh, that he's on that he's doing the sugar daddy sites, and that's not. That's that's tricking. That's getting tricked. That's that's paying for it. Just stop. Stop pretending you're a player. If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at patreon.com slash manschool202. Like, that's what girls do. Like, their job is to come in and extract resources from men. But, I mean, bro, don't commit to girls that aren't OnlyFans, bro. Or OnlyFans this sh recreational use only i'm not saying not to deal with them we just don't take them seriously you don't I give need, them I what i didn't i'm a virgin i swear to god wallahi no that's fine that you're a virgin but like bro you you hung out with the of oh she's texting me oh she's calling me she ain't a fucking liar i swear to god she is you get married and talk to her no no you don't want to Bro, she, bro, I don't need to talk to you. Three or four, man. Tell her the truth. That, that, what? That's not. Why is she calling me? This is awkward. All right, don't it's answer. It's not gonna. Nah, man. All right. I don't want to put you in a weird position. Already, man, out of his dude, league. Well, yeah, of course, of course. He's Every, out of his league. Of this his girl league. is hotter than he than he thinks he deserves. And and even though he's a kind con, like a famous content creator, it has put him in the. It has put him in the game, and he doesn't have the credentials to be in that game. And it's just absurd. Just this breaks my heart. Uh, yeah. This kid is like dealing with the OnlyFans. So in other words, she's either fucking dudes or fucking herself on on camera. But she's not fucking him. But he's right. literally calling. This is my girl. I, I, like I don't. That boggles my freaking mind. I'm uh, losing my mind that you would say that this is your girl, and you're. It's insane. Yeah, yeah, but you know well, he's getting. You know he's what? You know he's giving up dough. Oh yeah, I, it's, 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 there's there's no way he's not losing on the end of this deal. There's no way she's spending time with him and not getting something out of it, financially or whatever. Especially she's not fucking him and he's still calling. He's still calling her his girlfriend, but it's he's 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 in a fucked up position. He's a nerd who some who somehow got clout, and it's a dangerous thing mm -hmm. for him. The problem, it doesn't even, he doesn't even bother me that much. He doesn't know any better. The problem is, is fucking Myron giving out this relationship advice that is going to lead him down a path of destruction, like to potential, I can't even say the word here, but uh, unlifing himself because he's going to yeah. be in a situation where he doesn't know what to do and it's going to create right. problems. And it's, it, this is right. a young guy. And how many of these fucking guys are listening to these dudes? How many of them and are seems listening? like a nice kid. Seems like in general, seems like a nice kid. Right, but he's not gonna be by the time they're done with him. Just kind of like Sneeko seemed like a nice kid, and by the time it was done, he was just uh, his soul was just darkened. I'm, I'm gonna be honest though, bro. Look at me, bro. I'm not gonna find a normal girl like that likes me. Well, that's you why heard, you have to stop. Look at me. Yeah. That's that's just sad. It's sad. Bro, you gotta understand that girl game is selling you purity. That's what girls do. They sell you purity. I'm a good girl. I'm an angel. I don't do that. She blah, told blah, blah. me she's celibate for a year. <laughs> That's not true? Bro, a girl's never not fucking somebody, bro. That's not true at all. The, a girl's <laughs> never not fucking somebody. First of all, here's what, here's what she's not fucking. She's not fucking Neon. She's definitely not fucking him. Probably won't fuck him. But that don't mean she's not fucking nobody. And... I know girls that have gone on celibate years of celibacy. It's just these generalizations that he's making. Look, is he probably right? Like, if this is an OnlyFans chick, is she probably fucking some? Probably. Is there somebody else? Probably. But I say that that's evident to me because he says, Bro, look at me. Look at me. I'm never going to get a girl like that. You're absolutely wrong. You can, you can get anybody. Stephen Hawkins is is a look like somebody threw him in a wood chipper. 
Mm. And he and he was he had a wife and she cheated on his wife. wife to get another wife, right? <laughs> I think it's over. Yeah. I, it's over. This, I, it's not you. It's me. Nineteen. You don't know better. That's why it's a very important to get experience with girls so you can figure out the Decepticons. Okay, but tonight we're going to a bunch of horrors too. So is that not the option? What do you mean? Like we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, the Nelk people uh, set up for me and Sneeko. Great. But I want to find a real girl that could, you know, like love and bring on stream. Bro, look, man, I told Sneeko this. Assume every girl's a whore unless she proves otherwise. So talk to them off camera. What? The, assume every girl is a whore until she proves otherwise. And I so, guess that every guy is a whore as well. I, I don't even know. What do you say to that? I, it's, what do you it's, say? And, there and then you wonder why we have a... School shooters uh, 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 and fucking... Yeah. This is so ridiculous. It, it, this is I, so, so, so irresponsible to not even give the nuance of this discussion. Yes, all of those things could be true. Sure, he's 19 years old. Sure, he's a nerd. Again... He's expected to, he does have to get out and he have to get experience, but he needs to see you, you. This is the, this is black Phillip from 2006 where just raw anger. They, these, these hoes ain't loyal. This, that, 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 that. So is your mama, your mama ain't loyal. And especially you get people like, uh, a um, lot of a lot of Muslim countries, a lot of Indian countries, where they where they um the expression of women is so subdued that they're they're a, they have no game because they never had to they never had to attract a woman on a social basis. A lot of them arrange marriages, and this is this this is duty and religion. I mean, you you got guys, you got cornballs in Seattle who are Mormons, who have three, four, five wives, they got no game at all because the society, the culture, allows poly uh, polyamory Polygamy. and polygamy and yeah, so in on Utah. and so forth. And so, so in Utah, so it becomes, it becomes part of the culture. So dudes who don't, who can't even maintain these multiple relationships have an opportunity to it because the agency of whatever's overwatching says that this is okay. And that there are guidelines to this, to the same token, when you have women who come from suppressive Muslim countries or suppressive Hindu and Muslims countries or suppressive Catholic countries, religion, religious prudes across the board. And then all of a sudden they have, they have foot freedom to make their decisions the way they want, which I believe is a it's an absolute important aspect of society is the the respect of women and the respect of allowing giving women a, a, an equal opportunity. I, I did there's this black woman who just created a cure for cancer using nanobots where they don't even do chemotherapy. They send the nano inject the nanobots into your body and it goes right to the the cancer cells. Like this is a woman who has contributed to the health of the world. Probably a whore. Um but, probably a whore. Yeah. She's crying. Probably a whore. She's crying. Probably a whore. You know what this is? Got all fans. Here's what this is. This is Myron is not a relationship expert, fresh and fit. They're conspiracy theorists. Because what yeah. happens is when you get burned, right? When you get burned, when you when you get hurt, when you fail at relationships time and time again, it's not you. It's 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 the women. They're the cheaters. They're the liars. It's not me. It's not that I don't have any game. It's not that I don't have any skill. It's not that I don't have any uh any compassion or ability to discern. It's, it's right not. Or it's, wrong. it's it's not that I have not communicated the fact that I feel that I'm worthless and I'm fronting and she saw through it. Don't get me wrong. Some girls are whores. Yeah. Some girls are deceptive. Some girls are manipulative. And even the ones that are, they're manipulative to specific guys and other guys they're not. Depending on. So this is the thing about. Um, years ago, Patrice and I used to talk about bunnies, bears, and uh, deer, bunnies, deers, and bears. Like we had a category of each one, which was just absurd because what you really understand is that people respond to different situations and different things because there's a chemistry between the two people. So the same nonsense that Kevin Samuels was talking about, how 
it uh this is the uh, uh, one thing or it, it, emotions are messy it is all messy let me ask you insecurity this, trauma we've talked about cuz we you have you have talked about the the three uh forms of manipulation right yeah. so how do you parcel that with what we're talking about here and what is the difference what is the nuance because the my, nuance is that I, I think when you are the best, I, and I only can talk about it in terms of what I, um, well, it's funny because I just had this conversation with, with a young lady. My job is to present in the best way that I can present. The punishment is not me being manipulative. It is not me being abusive. It is not the, the punishment is that I remove myself from your life. That, because I'm authentic, I'm credible, and I'm empathetic, and, and I want you, just in general, I want people around me to win. I want people to be better. I want people to grow. And I want to I be sort of the, the facilitator of that. But what happens is, if that is my, if that is my focus, um, and all of a sudden you have crossed boundaries that I'm uncomfortable with, I don't, I, I don't got to go, I don't, I, you know, I don't got to put hands on you. All I need to do is just remove myself from your life. That is the, I mean, I, there's guys who have called up when we do the lives, every guy that calls up, man, you changed my life. You changed my life. What if I hadn't? What if I didn't put content up? What if I didn't speak freely? What if I didn't share the things that I've gone through myself, the mistakes that I've made. Then what if I hadn't done that? And then, then these they find guys would fresh and fit. The same. And then yeah. they find fresh and fit and go. Ninety nine percent of women are whores and liars unless it's proven differently. It's just, it's just whores and liars for you. Yeah. If you act like a pussy, you will get fucked. Don't get me wrong. And women are supposed to. It, the, the the idea of physical natural selection is gone. Like we don't we don't fight and then whoever wins the fight gets to fuck all the women. There is a a a, a, a and and it's much more, you know, human interaction is much more involved. But a woman will absolutely give you shit to make sure you are the shit. It's part of the test that she understands that you are still the dude that she married or the dude that she chose in the first place. And when you show that weakness that you're not. How does how does the species survive if women don't pick the the best men? We have to assume that there's something to that with women because of the fact that you know human beings have been on this earth for two hundred thousand years, so something is going right. Hmm. Think of the all the percentages of people that have been um, that have gone extinct, all the animals that have gone extinct simply because the wrong matings, the wrong choices were made. Let's go more with this. This just breaks my heart. Yeah. Dude, I went to an LA party. Everyone was crowded around to get uh, up on me. I swear to God, if I didn't have a camera or anything, I would be sitting in a corner by myself. Well, that's where you got to learn how to, you know, have real conversations and not necessarily do it for the, the stream, man. Yeah. Yeah, try to, try to have a real conversation with somebody who you assume is a whore until proven otherwise. Try to have a genuine uh, conversation. With a whore. So what do I do, bro? I'm so confused, man. Like, do I just, do I just kill myself, dude? Like, <laughs> no, you just gotta understand female nature, man. You just gotta know how girls really move, how they operate. You're young, so you're you're figuring it out. That, you know, that's the first girl I've ever talked to. That's yeah. the first girl I've ever talked to in my entire life. Yeah, so she has the advantage. And I got attached. I'm gonna be honest. More, I, was, yeah. I was having dreams about her. I was daydreaming about her. It was bad, bro. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what girls do. Like they they prey on guys like you that don't know their worth. So what's my worth? What do you think? Well, you're a famous guy, probably doing well for yourself financially, um, but you don't understand your value. And girl game is you not understanding your value and manipulating you into thinking that they're, you know, they have more leverage over you. And that's what happens when girls have experience over you. Okay. So first of all, did you hear what he thought his value was? Hey, you're 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 an influencer. You got a lot of viewers. Mm -hmm. You got money. No, bro. It ain't about that. This is also frivolous advice. That gives you zero value. It's zero value because you all the money we talk about. It, I won't we'll say it gives you zero value, but it, it is not the measure of your character. It's definitely not the measure of your character. Uh, you know who had I mean, a lot of money? Jeffrey Epstein. 
you know what is yeah, his value I, but, but, you know what i mean like, right but not having money is value there is value i mean you because there's no way i mean look it, you, we watch people do horrible things for money but we also watch people who are very disciplined and they they earn money because they're disciplined because they believe in something or they believe in uh, uh in, in i mean there's a there's a series of things i mean you know um yeah. so yeah. i don't think you can just discount money no but and, my point uh, i guess my point is that he is putting it on that like hey man you're all yeah, set right. you got money and that and that's clearly not the problem here the no, problem is that no. none of that is helping this kid and he's he's talking about offing himself for god's sakes because he's so scared and confused and this guy's advice is go get a marry a woman overseas and leave her over there and leave her over there and then it's just so that she doesn't get corrupted or see who the, who you really are and this this kid is in rough shape, man. I don't, I don't know where he is now at this point, but it's fucking scary. It's scary. The yeah. frivolous advice, and this kid really, yeah. genuinely wants to find love and and uh, and some compassion, and he's it's, it ain't gonna happen this way. Fuck, he's in for Crazy. a lot of heartbreak through this, a lot yeah. of damage. And he's nineteen, still a virgin, and he's listening to these these knuckleheads. It's crazy. It's really crazy. It's sad, but that's why we're here. Uh -oh. And if you want, uh, I guess, you know, more advice, more information. If you want to avoid this, do us a favor. Hit us up for a consultation if you want. If you want a consultation from Dante, you can go to DanteNero.com and click on consult. If you want a consultation from me, you could uh, email me at advicefromharry at gmail.com. And also, uh, Dante, they can follow us over at Patreon, right? If they want to, uh, yeah, some more bonus content. www.patreon.com slash manschool202. Don't forget on the YouTube live stream every 8, 8, 8.30, except for the 31st, because we're doing a live show. I'm doing a live show with, with Godfrey. But every 8.30 live stream um, on YouTube, manschool202 page. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you get a notification when I go live. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual revolutions being podcasting. Yo, I love y'all. Peace. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.